When selecting elements in jQuery, sometimes you get many results. You get uh, a bunch of elements that satisfy the conditions that you specified. And there are helper methods that allow you to get, for example, the first one of these results or the last one of these results. And once you get a single result, you can also move through the DOM. You can move to the next element in the DOM or to the previous element in the DOM as in the same um, hierarchy. For example, if I, ha if I was selecting dogs, the, the element that says dogs, I could move to the next element, which would be cats. And here, the previous element would, of course, be dogs. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you DOM traversing techniques um, that you can use to move through these results that you've that you found using um, children or find or or some other methods that there are. Um, let's start by um, finding different ways to select the the cats um, the cats element in here. Uh, I'm going to start by saying that you could also use um, there are fil there are content filtering methods in jQuery, but we're not covering those in these examples. Uh, in this ex particular example, I just want to show you how you can traverse easily and move through the DOM. So um, we are going to start by selecting the, the element that has the ID animals and that's going to be our starting point. Animals. Now once we're here we know that the cats is inside of mammals and mammals is one of the children of animals. So we could uh, we could do dot children in here. That will give us mammals and reptiles. I'm going to show you this in the console as well. So we have mammals, we have reptiles. And which one of the two we want? We want the first one, so let's use first. I'm going to move to a new line just to uh, keep it all in one screen. Um, since we did first, we're now in, we're now in mammals and we want to target now the children of mammals. Now do we want all the children or just the the ones that have the class creature? We only want the ones that have the class creature, right? Because these ones have the class terrain and cats is among the ones that have creature as a class. So we'll type creature. That will give us only um, dogs and cats. And now which one of the two we want? We want the last one and that will take us to the element we wanted which is cats. Now that you've selected cats it's up to you what you want to do with it. If you want to animate it, modify the DOM, read some value, read some attribute, um, attach an event, uh, any of the many many things you can do. Let's try a different uh, let's try a different way just to show you the previous um, the previous method. So imagine that we're not actually selecting by creature, that we are just selecting all of the children. So we're getting dogs, cats, forest, and prairie. Um, in, I need to show you, I want to show you the previous one. So let's start by the last one then. Let me grab the last one. We grab the last one where, where we are in prairie. So we need to move one, two backwards. So let's move one backwards by using previous. That'll give us forest. And if we do that again, that'll take us to um, cats, which is what we want, of course. All right, so we got cats. And well, same thing can be done with, um, with next. If we did the same thing, and instead of grabbing last, which was the, the cats right away, um, if we took a longer way, which would of course not be you know the best way to do it, but um, so you can see how you can grab the, the next one. So if we, if we do first, it'll give us dogs. And if we want to get to cats, we'll just do next. And that will take us to cats. So as you can see, using uh, first and last, you can quickly access um, elements within your results and then using previous and next you can move uh, you can sort of manually move through these uh, results as well and see how we are chaining all the events together how we are using 
all of these say all of these methods one after another and it's because every time we call one of them that returns the entire object over and over again so we have animals here and then we call the children that'll give us all those children as a result and then we apply first on those results and and so forth so that's called um, chaining methods and it's very commonly used in jQuery